Yeah, it's a very good question, Jessica. And the vibe is a little different this time around. Less attention paid to Balwani than was to Elizabeth Holmes. But we're still talking about Theranos machines and the failure of Theranos machines. We're also talking about Theranos culture and how emotional it was for one former employee who says she was harassed after leaving the company. Day two of the Sonny Balwani trial closely resembled the early days of the Elizabeth Holmes case. Former Theranos employee turned whistleblower Erica Chung on the stand as the prosecution begins to build its case alleging fraud. At one point, Chung broke down while testifying that she was followed and harassed after leaving the company. For people who testified at the Elizabeth Holmes trial, after having lived through the train wreck that was Theranos, and now have to rehash it again in the Sunny Balwani part of the trial, you're going to see emotional reactions. I think it's very normal. Unlike the Holmes case, Balwani is not surrounded by cameras and court visitors, at least not yet. Like the Holmes case, prosecutors focused on the hopes for and failures of Theranos machines. Right now it's following a similar script, but we're going to hit that essential legal fork in the road. And that fork in the road goes back to Elizabeth Holmes's accusations that a lot of the blame for what happened was Sonny Balwani. And you may remember those accusations. Holmes on the stand claiming that Balwani was abusive and manipulative, both in their relationship and at Theranos. The Balwani trial continues next week. Live in San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. Thanks.